dumb and dumber. What can I say? Well, instead of saying anything, do you wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> this is one of my all-time favorite movies of all time. And it's not just because of Mary Swanson's perfect little butt. It's so cute, you just wanna squish it. But there's much more than that. This movie will tickle your whole body. And if you're a bitter person who never laughs, this movie will rip your brain until it pops your laughing sherry. It is a comedy so it doesn't have too many complex camera angles or slick editing. In those technical departments, it served its purpose. It's nothing special. But the jokes are excellent. This is pure comedy. One of the best comedic scripts I have ever seen come to life. But it wouldn't have been so amazing without the perfect team to deliver those jokes. Their comedic timing and impeccable acting is incredible. Here you have Jeff Daniels, not usually seen in this type of movies, playing a complete idiot. He embraced the lunacy, he became the character. And I intentionally left Jim Carrey for last. Because you should already know that I am madly in love with him. He is the reason I ever considered a life in the entertainment industry and this movie is a big part of that. People always complained about growing up and here was a guy getting paid millions of dollars to never grow up. Making money while making people laugh. Making money? I love it. Making people laugh? One of my favorite things in the whole world. If you watch my videos in my main channel, you can see how my comedy was influenced by Jim Carrey and this movie. You can even see it in some of my acting. People often underrate Jim Carrey's acting, but he's incredible. He is one of the very few actors who can overact and still make it seem like it's natural. But yeah, this movie was amazing. Especially because it has a lot of replay value. If you like it, you will never get tired of watching it. It just works well because of its structure and how the plot is put together. It's partly a road trip movie, partly crime comedy, some of it is raunchy, and even partly romantic. It's just so many elements put together that you wouldn't think would work, but they do. It's kind of like a black guy marrying a white girl. You might think, hey, how's that gonna work? It won't be pretty, their kid will probably look like a zebra. But no, they have the cutest kid ever. One of the things I had a hard time in this movie was understanding how it worked to be so good. It's about two stupid guys. Usually you require a smart one to balance it out and to make the jokes work. But I figured it out. Not only is everybody else a foil to these two idiots, but in their stupidity they're also geniuses and also they're extremely lucky. All of that plus the unpredictable ending make this movie one of the greatest comedies in life. I absolutely recommend this movie to you. This is a movie everyone can enjoy no matter how dumb or stupid you are. Kinda like your mom. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't talk about my mom. <laughs> See you later, crocodile. <laughs>